So this concludes our session on IXL related questions. Uh, up next in our series will be questions regarding grouping. Thank you for watching. Good morning. Uh, teachers, you had some questions about your observation in Mrs. Sosby's class and we have a lot going on so I thought one of the best ways to respond would be to share uh, these answers to these questions in a video format so you can view that on your own time uh, if you choose and so we're going to get right to it. Uh, majority of your questions fell in four main categories and we're going to try to cover a couple of the categories in one video and then the other couple of categories in another video. Um, and so thank you, Mrs. Sosby, for being willing to do this. And you guys thank her for being willing to go on camera and share answers to these. But four categories, IXL related questions, grouping related questions, independent activity questions, and curriculum uh, and other instructional questions. So we're gonna get right to those IXL related questions. Uh, Mrs. Sosby, talk with the teachers about how you determine what section of IXL that students have to work on. Okay, during um, the math workshop portion, it is supporting the actual unit that we're in currently in the standards. So you can go through and find what directly aligns with what's in this unit. So it would be grade level content yes. that, that all students are working on or do they you have, have choices? Okay. But it's all grade level current supporting this unit. Okay, good. Um, how do students know which IXL lesson they should be working on? Very small on the board is a small section that they look up to and it tells them what letter and what number choices they have for the day. Okay. How often do students do IXL on a weekly basis? Um, they do it once during math workshop. Then they also we use it to support intervention and do different IXLs. Okay during spiral review. Okay. After they complete spiral review, which is five questions, mm -hmm. and we go over them and check them, then there's different options. They go to their recommendations, mm -hmm. and they click on their recommendations and finish a recommendation. Okay. And so how many minutes do you think overall weekly a student spends in IXL? Um, it's about 30 minutes during one day a week, and then about 10 to 15 per day, so 40, maybe 60 minutes a okay. week. Okay, so again, during the, uh, the separate math time, not the workshop time, they're doing things that they're working on their recommendations, which will be leveled work. Correct. And then, but when they work on it during IXL, they're working on grade level content tied to the current instruction. During. Okay. Another question was, how do I know if they're doing what I ask? There's a report on IXL called Students Quick View, and it'll tell you exactly how many questions they answered, making sure that it tells them, it shows me that they were doing the ones that I asked them to do. And it will show how long they worked, how many questions they answered, and how close they are to completing that um, section of IXL. And are you pulling that daily, weekly? Weekly. Okay. Just okay. weekly, after we finish. Uh, uh, one question came in on IXL, and this should wrap up our uh, uh, IXL questions, unless you have more to add. During the lesson, were there any students working on IXL standards that they had already mastered? No, once they've mastered it, mm -hmm. I have a couple, if they've mastered quicker mm -hmm. than anybody else, then I give them different ones, and they okay. know to come to me, and I push them towards... I have some who've mastered multiplication, so we're going to the relationship between multiplication and division. So you're able to extend? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, this concludes our session on IXL related questions. Uh, up next in our series will be questions regarding grouping. Thank you for watching.